Okay, traders, welcome to day 13 of the Master Your Trading Mindset movement. Day 13 and day 14, we're gonna do something a little bit different. I wanted to go back to a moment in my life, a time in my life where I was struggling a little bit and um, I needed to reach out to other experts and, and get help for myself. Um, and what I thought would be incredibly useful because I have notes here from these particular sessions is to bring in some insights I actually gained from a very successful trader um, who, was, um, who I was fortunate enough to get some performance coaching from. Um, this is an individual that um, you wouldn't find on the internet. This is an individual that doesn't sell their service, or doesn't sell their course. They're very low key, have great success for themselves. And when they uh, feel the opportunity is right for them, they like to give back to other traders um, and would take on a one-on-one -on -one client um, here and there to help them when they were when they were when they were struggling or when they needed to level up when they needed when they needed help. So what I wanted to do in day 13 and day 14 is have a little bit more of a casual conversation. This video was part one of a two-part series, day 13 and day 14, where I share some of the key insights I gained in that part of my life um, from this particular performance coach um, and. The beliefs, the thoughts, the principles, the ideas that they gave me, um, I can say truly were probably the more transfor uh, transformational. They were, they came at the right time in my life, um, but they're also very profound. So they had a big, big impact on my journey. And I've had a lot of coaches throughout the years. I've had a lot of people that I've learned off, studied under. Um, and I can say that these particular sessions that I had with this individual and the, and the ideas I gained from them that I'm gonna share with you over these two parts, um, had a very significant impact on my trading, in my life in general, and I can say very confidently that I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for this individual. So I wanted to share some insights because I know they're gonna be incredibly useful. Now, one of the first things we discussed in, in our first session, I remember very clearly, um, was the, the individual pretty much went off and said that I'm doing incredibly well. Um, making a significant amount of money consistently every month and not because they wanted to be arrogant or come across that way, but they wanted to establish credibility to what they were about to say. Now, keep in mind, I came at this part in time, I was in trading communities, I was learning particular strategies and the whole idea, the whole belief system was that, you know, you have to back test, you have to have a trading plan. You have to do self-review, review all these types of things. This is sort of the belief system, the mentality that's put out um, and that's preached. And the first thing this individual said to me after they're saying how, how well they did, how much money they made, um, was that they do none of those things. They don't back test. They've never back tested. They don't have a trading plan. They don't, uh, uh, they don't do self-review. Those are things that they don't do. Now, this individual went on to say that I'm not saying don't do those things. I'm not saying don't back test. I'm not saying don't have a trading plan. I'm not saying don't do self-review. But I remember being a little bit shocked. It was a little bit of an eye-opener in that moment. What they were trying to do was they were trying to make me think outside the box. And they were more, more so they were trying to make me question beliefs and ideas that were just given to me. Because this individual I know was, um, before they traded, very successful in corporate. They were an entrepreneur themselves, very successful individual in all endeavors in life. And one of the beliefs that they had was every single predetermined belief that was given to them, they would question. They would ask, why? Why am I doing that? And I think what this did was it opened my mind to realize that you know, just because there are certain standards or just because there are certain beliefs or ideas or things that are preached, doesn't necessarily mean those things are right for you at that particular point in time. So the first thing I really learned from this individual, from this performance coach, and it was at the right time, I got questions. The great coaching is all about giving great questions that you can go and find answers to. Um, one of the questions I have journaled right here in this journal was, what certain beliefs, ideas, um, or rituals have I taken on blindly? And have I not questioned why I'm doing those particular things? Now, you guys and girls know that I speak quite highly of backtesting to create a trading plan, having a trading plan, process-based trading plan, and also speak a little bit about self-review. Now, 
I personally think that the majority of people, those things are wise things to do because they give you an idea of where your edge is and they give you an ability to stick to your edge as you go into a market that can be a little bit, um, a little bit confusing, disorientating at times. So I believe for majority of people, those things are wise to do. But on top of that, the last thing I want each and every single one of you to do is to take those beliefs on without actually questioning them and seeing if they work for you in this particular point in time. So what I learned from this particular coach, from this individual, was that they never take on ideas or insights or beliefs blindly. They question everything. And it's really about identifying, is this truly important for me? Is this something that I really need to do? Or is this just something that everybody does because people think it's a good thing to do? And I, from, from what I observed of this individual, this is part of the reason why they were able to differentiate themselves from the masses and from the other people. And they rose up to be so successful because they weren't taking things blindly as so many people do. They learned and they were extremely, they were extremely open in terms of who they learned from and what information they took on. This individual would continue to learn from individuals who were making less money than them but they had incredibly great filters and frameworks that they put any piece of information that came into their mind through to figure out, all right, was this, is this actually something wise for me to do? Is this something that it works for me at this particular time? Um, the last thing they did was they took beliefs and things on blindly. So the first key lesson I learned from this individual through our coaching sessions was that. So never take ideas blindly, never take belief systems blindly but to question everything and to really truly deep down figure out, is this something that's worthwhile for you? Is this something you wanna continue? So just like I walked away from that coaching call with, I had a question and I'm gonna pass on this question to you because I encourage you over today to, to, to journal this question, to meditate on this question and bring to surface what things you've taken on blindly. And the question is, what beliefs, what ideas, what rituals, what things do you do in your trading specifically that you have just taken on and you think you should do because someone else has told you? Usually educators, usually coaches or mentors or gurus in the industry that you take these ideas on blindly. It could even be me. Some of the things, the principles, the ideas I've shared on this channel or in my 12 week program. You wanna identify and write down an exhaustive list of the things you've taken down blindly and the beliefs you've identified that you've taken on blindly without ever questioning or putting through the microscope. And then you wanna go through that list and prioritize that list based on what beliefs you subscribe to most and are most impactful in your life. And you really wanna scrutinize that. And it, you, you really wanna dig deep and ask yourself, is this truly a belief that's helping or is it hindering me? Is this something that's, um, is this something that I have taken into my mind without ever questioning and it's been a seed that's been planted in my mind and it's continued to grow? I remember one of the things that came out of this coaching call, and I remember this very clearly because it was, a, it was a very much a, an aha moment for me. One of the beliefs I took on blindly was that trading is difficult. And I had this idea that trading is incredibly difficult. And it's a belief that I've taken in taken on from, I, I know specifically who I took that on from, and it was something that I never questioned or put under the microscope. And I remember after I wrote that down, I asked myself the question, why does it have to be difficult? Why is it difficult? Does it have to be difficult? And I started to unpack that particular belief and I came to the realization that after bringing that to surface force at first and foremost, and, and having that belief, the self-awareness of that belief that had been logged in my subconscious mind, something I wasn't even aware of most of the time, I asked myself the question, does it have to be? And the truth is trading doesn't have to be difficult. Trading is actually very simple. You need an edge, you need a trading plan, and you need processes to adhere to that trading plan. And when done consistently over a long period of time, that's where the money comes. The reason why people make it difficult is because they overcomplicate it. And there's emotional volatilities that come in that if you don't know how to manage, can become and can make the, the situation seem difficult. And traders on top of that have unrealistic expectations to, to the trading into the markets and they make it difficult for themselves because of those unrealistic expectations. 
So I remember that being a, an incredibly powerful game changer for me. That was one of those sets of questions that I've kept very close and I continue to, to use on a monthly, on a quarterly basis um, as a, a, a sense of personal review and, and self-awareness of what beliefs have I taken on recently that are hindering me and that I've just taken on without ever questioning, without ever putting under the microscope. For example, one of those is trading is difficult. And the truth is it doesn't need to be difficult. So I encourage you to write down this question. Now, there may be certain beliefs that you've taken on that have helped you. Um, and once you put them under the microscope, you realize, you know what, this is actually quite an empowering belief and something I wanna, I wanna take on. And there's been a few of those as well that I've had in my life from parents, my, my two parents, from my brother, um, from close friends, from other coaches, from other mentors that I've studied under. Um, and there are a few that I'd love to pass on as well. The first one being that um, no matter what I write down and no matter what I set my mind to, especially if it's congruent with me, especially if it's um, something that is important to me, I can accomplish it. And this is something I'm gonna talk about later on in the series, um, but it's about building that empowering belief within yourself about no matter what you set your mind to, no matter what you're willing to work towards, put energy, time and effort and resources towards, no matter what that is, if it's, if it's truly important to you, if it's aligned with what you value and what's a priority in your life, and you dedicate enough time and energy to that particular thing, that you can accomplish it. And I think that's been a, a really powerful belief that I've instilled in my life. I think initially it came from my sporting background, um, and then that's continued to grow through my education, through my studies, and then through more of my professional um, career as well, where that belief within myself has started to grow because I had a master plan, I had an idea of what I would love to accomplish. I set action steps and I set a strategy to accomplishing that, to that master plan. And lo and behold, three, six months, a few years later, six years later, um, I saw those things come to fruition. And I saw the thing that I once wanted, which was just initially a thought, which is just initially a, a, a goal, um, I put a strategy behind it and I accomplished that particular thing. It took time, it took energy, it took effort, it took dedication. Sometimes it even took delegating to other people who were better at certain components of that than me. But over time, I started to see that whatever I wrote down, if it was truly meaningful to me and I dedicated time and energy to it, I could accomplish anything. And I think that's been an incredibly empowering belief that I actually brought to surface with this exercise as well, that I have kept close to me and it's been more so an affirmation, something that I continue to, to think about when I read my master plan every day, when I write new things, when I set new goals, um, that's something that's going on in my mind. That's a belief system um, that I have in my mind about, I know I can accomplish whatever I set my mind to. Okay, so let's, let's, let's do a little bit of a recap here. Um, it's all about putting your beliefs under the microscope. It's all about realizing and questioning is that truly something that's gonna help or hinder me? It's about not taking on ideas blindly just because some sort of authority gave it to you because you never know where that authority got that belief from. Maybe they've taken it on blindly. And as that, as that, um, uh, that saying about the, the turkey um, where um, the mother cut the turkey in half before she put it in the oven, and the, the grandmother did that as well, and the great-grandmother did that as well, and one day the, the, the daughter went up to the great-grandmother and asked um, the great-grandmother why she started cutting the turkey in, in half before she put it in the oven, and her answer was that their oven was too small. And then the, the, the mother and the et cetera, et cetera, took that belief on blindly without ever questioning it, and they continued to do it just because of what the, the great-grandmother did. So it's, it's this type of stuff, we use that as an analogy for, um, for, for trading, for business, whatever it may be, that you never wanna take on beliefs blindly. You always wanna question them. You always wanna understand what's the motive behind the belief. Where did that individual get that from? Where did I get it from? Put it under the microscope. When and where did I start believing that? Is this something that's gonna help or hinder me? Is this something that has served me in my life or is this something that's holding me back? Doing this exercise, writing it down, having self-awareness and bringing your beliefs to surface, especially those that you've taken on blindly, is incredibly, incredibly important and will help build self-awareness. It will help squash and, 
and um, give less power to those beliefs that are potentially hindering you and it will help give more power to those beliefs that are helping you.